the most common error in subject-verb agreement. The most common error in subject-verb agreement relates to the third-person singular S. First of all, what is the third-person singular S? Well, let's conjugate the verb walk in the present tense. I walk, you walk, he, she, it walks, we walk, you walk, they walk. You'll notice that the verb walk takes the same form in every case except the third person where we add an S. This S is the reason behind two popular subject-verb agreement errors. First, not using the third-person singular S. And second, overusing the third-person singular S. Sometimes the S is not used when it is needed, as in the following two sentences. Michael live in Kingston? She exercise four times a week. Both of these sentences have third-person singular subjects and therefore require the S. Michael lives in Kingston. She exercises four times a week. Remember, that the pronouns he, she, and it require an S, and it includes various singular nouns, like animals, ideas, and types of people. A bird sings because it has a song. A lack of friendship makes unhappy marriages. An optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. Sometimes the third person singular S is used too much. It might be incorrectly applied to show agreement. They lives in Kingston. We exercises four times a week. As you can see in the table, they and we do not require verbs that take an S. The S might also be incorrectly applied to verbs that never take S, such as cans in the following sentence. Gary cans swim really well. Can is a special kind of verb a modal verb, and it never takes an S. Other modal verbs include may, would, could, should, and must. Using this same sentence, the S might also be incorrectly applied to swims, as follows. Gary can swims really well. Swim should not take an S because after a modal verb, the root form of a verb is used. Some English learners might add an S to show agreement with a plural subject. The boys enjoys playing football. Shouldn't enjoy have an S because boys has an S? In fact, the boys is like writing they and does not take an S. Let's review the most common errors. Not using the third person singular S, as in the sentence Michael live in Kingston, and overusing the third person singular S, as in we exercises four times a week, 
Gary Cans swims really well, and the boys enjoys playing football. All those S's should be removed. Try to spot the errors in the following passage in the simple present. Feel free to pause the video here before I reveal the answer. And here's the answer. <laughs> 